Hey you, this is Jasim from Codeband and welcome to Laravel tutorial for beginners. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. All right guys, so this whole video is divided into two sections. The first section being introduction to Laravel and why you should use Laravel. And the second section is installing the prerequisites before moving into the Laravel ecosystem. So we are directly moving into the first section. So if you go to uh, uh, google.com and search for Laravel, La you could find something like Laravel is a free open source PHP web framework. So it's just a PHP web framework uh, that follows the MVC architecture that is model view controller. And you don't have to bother about all these steps right now. I'll explain each of them in detail later in this series. And the next thing we are going to be looking is why you should use Laravel. The answer is for the answer for that is very simple. If I search in something like top frameworks in 2020, then I should see something like this one right in here where you could find Laravel in in the first three. So the, the, the ranking changes year by year. It'll come in the first, second, third and always it will be in the first three. So that's why I recommend that you should learn Laravel. Now, the other one, uh, the other reason is, you know, if you go to Google Trends and all, and you can find the uh, Laravel uh, popularity in Google searches, then that you could explore more. I'll not go into deep into that right now. And that's all the reason why you should use Laravel. Now we are moving into the second section that is installing the prerequisites. Now the basic prerequisite that or, or the basic requirement that you should have before moving into the Laravel ecosystem is none other than the PHP itself. You should have a, a solid grasp, I could say a beginner level PHP understanding so that only you could uh, you know you could understand Laravel itself. So if you're very brand new to programming, I recommend you to take a PHP course out there on the internet, on the YouTube itself, you can find a lot. And after doing those uh, core, uh, or uh, after doing those PHP beginners, you come back in here and uh, start to learn Laravel. Now, if you have some experience in PHP, then you are good to go with Laravel ecosystem. So with that being said, we are moving into installing the prayer cosites. The first one you need is exam, which is nothing but, you know, the uh, cross-platform Apache MySQL PHP poll. And in here, we, we need the PHP and the MySQL uh, database as we will be using MySQL database in the Laravel backend. So we need PHP and MySQL. So instead of doing it, in, uh, instead of doing it or installing it independently, uh, I, I'll be using this package, which gives you th that the bo both of these things in a single package. So uh, you could easily download exam here uh, if you're using windows or linux or mac os you could download it here so uh, i'll not move i'll not move into the installation part as it is very straightforward you could just click next 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 and uh, go with it and if everything goes fine you could just come in here and type in cmd and you can just say php space minus v v stands for version and if you click enter you could see something like this one now if you have or if you don't uh, you know see something like this one then all you have to do is come back in here and you just search for this pc and you select the uh, c, c drive and you, you could see something like exam here the folder and you click on that you go to php folder right in here and you just copy this path this path right in here and you just copy that and come back in here and start you just type in env then you'll find something like this one select environment variables and in the path section here in the system variable section in the path you have to just add new path and you just paste that uh, path that we have copied from here 
the space in there and that's it now I have that that path right in there so I'll just delete this one and just have to click OK and OK and you just have to reopen the terminal I'll just close this one and you just have to reopen it and say again PHP minus V and it's good to go there so with that being said now this is uh, you know for specifically for windows users in mac and linux the process is a little bit uh, different you could research on google for that setting environment path so with that being said now the second requirement that you should have is composer now if you are coming from a javascript background or a, a python background you might have heard about npm and pip npm is for javascript and pip is for python so this is a composer is much like that a dependency manager for php and you need this as a requisite for uh, for using laravel so we'll just download this one here right in here click in here and you could download if you're using windows you can download the cxe file right in here or if you're using uh, other operating systems you can follow along this tutorial and if everything goes fine you come back in here in the cmd again and type in composer space minus v and you will get something like this one and if you get something like this one then it is good to go so if you ran into some errors please let me know in the comment section so uh, that's all about uh, the requirements now uh, the the thing uh, to note is that i'm using uh, php storm as an ide for uh, writing the laravel code itself so uh, if you want to follow along exactly with me I, I recommend you to download php storm all of the links will be available in the description section or you could also use visual studio code or any code editor of your choice that's up to you so you, you just download any of the editors and uh, we'll not be uh, going deep into a Laravel installation in this video. Uh, we'll talk about it, that in the next one. And I'll, I have just to, I have to say like, you know, you can go to laravel.com uh, where there will be the documentation and all those stuff. You can, you know, uh, explore that. You can click on documentation and you can find uh, very useful resources right in here. So we will talk about all those in the upcoming videos. So with that being said, now the project that we will be building in this uh, whole series will be a simple to-do list application. Although it's, it's simple, it has all the functionalities that every project has. So if I type in a title uh, of to-do, then let me type in uh, code band and then click submit, then it, it just you know uh, it gives that right in here. You could easily update it like if I say like this one it just updated and you could easily delete and you can also add multiple uh, to do's so that's the whole application and although it seems to be very tiny it has all the functionalities as I have said like it has all the CRUD operations and CRUD stands for create read update and delete and you have you know if you type in submit then you have created one so that C is over now the reading part it is nothing but this one it is displaying all those objects right in here then the update and delete part is right to these two buttons so that's the whole uh, project itself so with that being said uh, this is all about the video and if you have uh, ran into some errors while installing all these steps please let me know in the comment section and um, if you like the video uh, please hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so that's it guys thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one